Well, I've been coming to Leicester East uh, for a very long time. As somebody who was born and brought up in India, um, I know in Leicester East it's got the biggest Indian community uh, in the UK. And by the way, most of uh, them are either first or second generation immigrants, like I am. Um, so it's a city of immigrants, uh, and that's why I chose uh, Leicester East. But when you are up against candidates who have what other might, people might think bona fide reasons to be here in Leicester, because they've either represented the city or were actually born and raised here, when, you, when people see your record, how difficult is it for you to actually sort of disagree with them that you've been parachuted in by the Labour Party and that a local person could really and should really have been chosen? But ultimately, uh, I'm speaking to hundreds, if not thousands of people that I've spoken to in the last few months. It's never come up on the doorsteps. All people want is a good MP. Uh, they've been let down uh, by their MP. They feel under served uh, by their MP and um, they want a competent uh, person. As well as that, um, you know, most of the people in Leicester are either first or second generation immigrants like I am. So they've been asked this question before. You are an outsider. What are you doing here? They've been asked this for decades and decades. Uh, the last thing they will do is ask to anybody else. Leicester has got a very big heart. Um, I don't think it asks people when they come, uh, why, why, why Leicester, why are you here? Because they've seen that tough time before. One of the things about Leicester, the, part of the previous MP was a Labour person. She got thrown out of the party. She's been an independent and therefore the Labour machinery wasn't there. What about yours? What, what are you finding in terms of the machinery that's needed to win a seat such as Leicester? There's no doubt there are challenges, uh, uh, but then I think it's very clear, speaking on the doorsteps, that people are tired of this 14 years of Tory chaos. People want change at a national scale, um, and that's very, very evident in all my, all my conversations. Um, pe you know, people can't get GP appointments, dentistry appointments, hospital appointments. Um, you know, class sizes have uh, gone up uh, because of underinvestment, uh, joblessness. Um, y y more than fifty percent of children in Leicester East are living in poverty. So the challenges faced by people nationally are also the challenges faced uh, here uh, by people in Leicester East. And as such, they're very keen on this change from 14 years of Tory chaos uh, to a viable, strong leadership uh, of Keir Starmer.